All righty, guys. Well, we're back out here at the grain bins. As you can see, we got a fair amount of rain. And uh, anyway, so I brought the bobcat out. I'm gonna dump this last load here. Gonna dump it out here. And then uh, spread these out to kind of see how much more I'm gonna have to bring in. So uh, I'm gonna say at least one more. But we'll see. Wish I had brought a coat. Tell you what, you can see the wind blowing. And uh, we're supposed to get our first frost tonight, early morning, so. Oh my gosh, you got chickens up here? Or Must be the neighbors. Anyway, um, should have brought my coat. Woo! But anyway, we got our benchmark set, so we're gonna try to get about four inches of gravel in here. Uh, that's what the concrete guy wanted. So we will uh, do what he wants and let's see what we can get uh, spread out here with the uh, with Bobcat and we'll kind of go from there.
probably just gonna call it right there. I'm gonna go get on another load, just again, stage it out here for them. And that way they'll have it uh, in case they need to fill around the forms or run a little bit or something. But I mean, before I put the laser to it, I mean, I was within three quarters of an inch to an inch overall, uh, overall levelness. And as you've seen starting out, it was a bit of a cluster starting out. I'm still learning that machine. Uh, I put four hours on it before everything started happening to it. And then I've got maybe, what, an hour, hour and a half on it, something like that. And I mean, all in all, I'm really pleased with myself on it. I just, I've got to get a bucket, that bucket. Uh, I've, I've been on some buckets online, but I've got to get a bucket because otherwise I'm going to have to take that, cut the weld on cutting edge off, put a new cutting edge on it, and then I do have, I do have that bolt on. But because the front of that cutting edge is worn at the front, it's curved up, and the minute you try to bring it down just to grade a little bit, and I mean it digs right in because it's a sharp, such a sharp angle. So. I uh, definitely got to get a bucket. I think it was a new bucket that would help considerably or repairing that one. I mean, a bucket's not in bad shape. It just needs a new weld on cutting edge and then a bolt on put on, on it. So, uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna kind of leave it and let them uh, pull out of a pile. I'll bring a pile out here and let them pull out of that to, uh, to fine tune, to fine tune that. So, Anyway, still got to figure out what's going on with that fault. It'll come up with a fault every, every once in a while. It has to do with a solenoid uh, short the ground on the, uh, on the uh, hydraulic lift portion of it. When it's in fault, it won't, it won't let you curl the bucket or raise the loader arms up. You shut it off, start it back up, and it'll go off and you're fine. So. It says short to ground, so I may have a sensor, a switch, or a solenoid or something that's going bad, or I've got a rub wire. So, again, something else I gotta, I gotta contend with. But I guess if I keep throwing money at it, then eventually it'll, I'll get her lined out. I hope. So, anyway, all right, let's go get some gravel. You silly son of a bitch.
videos with the Bobcat. Uh, some good, some not so good. So, anyway, I'm hopefully making making progress with it. 